All right. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Berger. I'm the AVP Marketing for the Cloud Optics Group at Marvell. And I'm talking about scaling data center interconnect for the AI era with 800 gig ZR and ZR Plus. Obviously, anything forward looking is not a guarantee standard statement. All right, let's start with the basics. What is ZR Optics? So as, as cloud providers are, are looking to provide higher quality of service and lower latency for their cloud customers, more and more a regional data center architecture where there are more locations distributed across the region in an availability zone is becoming more and more popular. All of these locations have to be interconnected with DCI connections, data center interconnects. Now, traditional long haul um, DWDM optics is very pricey. There are dedicated transport or DCI boxes that consume a lot of power and are very CapEx intensive. That's where ZR optics come in. It's a dedicated, low cost, and power optimized solution to connect data centers. We have a 100 and a 400 gig um, solution in production right now, and we're introducing an 800 gig solution now at this show. So just to illustrate it again, previously, when you wanted to do a DWDM connection outside of a data center, you would go from a switch and router inside your data center uh, with gray optics, a short reach optics, into a transport system or a DCI box. And then from there, the DWDM connection would come out of the system into the network. ZR optics eliminate that entire network layer. You can go straight with the pluggable small form factor optics into the switch or router. So your power, capex, and opex is reduced. Uh, by some estimates, up to 75% reduction in total cost of ownership. So now looking at Colors 800, our 800 gig ZR and ZR Plus product. Uh, we have a demo at our booth, uh, at the Marvell booth, and it's really revolutionary. It's multi-mode, so different data rates, 400, 600, 800, gigabit per second, uh, multi-reach up to 2,000 kilometers, multi-vendor and disaggregated, meaning zero optics allow you to buy different portions of your network from the ideal vendor, and you can multi-source it. Um, the optics are compatible with various standards, the OIF 800 ZR standard, Open ZR Plus, IEEE, and Open Rotom. There are different form factors depending on your favorite choice of switch or router, OSFP or QSFPDD. And in our case, we have already two field proven generations in, uh, in cloud scale shipping. So this is our third generation. Now, what enables this huge cost and power reduction? There are two major technology breakthroughs. First. At the core is the DSP. 400 gig ZR was really the first time that you had a seven nanometer, small, integrated, less than 10 watt um, DSP, digital signal processor, that was able to be put in, into a small form factor pluggable. Uh, traditionally, these are tens of watts, and you need a dedicated heat sink on a large line card and a dedicated system. With this new technology, uh, at 800 gig, it's actually a five nanometer process. You can reduce the power and you customize and optimize for this application. The second major technology breakthrough is silicon photonics integration. Um, this generation moved from 60 gigabaud to 120 gigabaud, just like on the DSP side. Uh, the integration component allows you to reduce cost, power, and obviously size. So everything gets integrated 
um, flip chipped and, and integrated into a smaller space at a lower cost and power. Silicon photonics versus traditional optics allows you to use silicon processes. You can use a fabless optics model, uh, integration, and you can use large CMOS uh, wafers. Now, how does AI play into this? Um, so far, we're not suggesting to connect GPUs with ZR optics directly, but uh, more AI clusters means more data centers, more upgrades, more locations. If you heard any of the other talks this morning, very power hungry. So you need more locations, which means in aggregate, that's hundreds of thousands of ZR links that need to be deployed. And this massive bandwidth cannot be delivered with traditional DWDM optics. <clears throat> so if you combine all of that, this year, you're actually looking at already 100 petabits per second in aggregate uh, ZR optics bandwidth that's being delivered between data centers. That's growing at a CAGR of about 50% over the next few years, growing up to 500 petabits. That equates to over a million units by 2027. Already this year, uh, by industry analysts, 400 ZR is the fastest growing ever coherent optics in the market. No other optic for coherent has ever grown at this steady pace. <clears throat> so all of those advantages combined and the tremendous value that these pluggables offer for end users explain this curve. We're already halfway through a transition from traditional embedded uh, DSPs and traditional system towards pluggables. And that trend keeps continuing. <clears throat> so 100 gig, 400 gig is already in very large scale deployment and in production. 800 gig is sampling now, a new generation, double the speed, uh, better cost and power performance, but of course, it doesn't end there. We already started, along with industry partners, uh, Microsoft, other partners in the industry, uh, 1.6 TZR in the OIF. So that's the next standard that we already start to work on as an industry, so we have an interoperable solution once we double baud rate again. Now, bringing it all together, Obviously, you need to plug into a new generation of systems. If you look around the show, you'll hear a lot about 51T switches, 800-gig uh, router generation, and that's going to be deployed over the next few years in uh, cloud data centers. On the carrier side, the upgrade cycle to 400-gig routers is also enabling um, the deployment of these new optics. And all of that together, allows us to scale for this next AI era and the huge demand we see on DCI. Thank you. <clears throat>